Right, what we're going to do today is a small mini amp for stereo headphones or a microphone to connect to your computer. Um, what you're going to need to start with as your base project is one of these, which is basically a computer speaker system. Now they usually come in a pair, uh, they cost about a tenner and after a while you get a new set and, or you get a new computer and you have these spare for some strange reason. Now what you need to do is strip them out, which I've already done, find all the hidden screws strip out all the electrics and what you get trying to get at is one of these I'll pop one of these now this is the main amp board and you need to make a note of the wires that you're using so all you've got to do is firstly get that board out and then secondly pop it out and get some extra bits now you can scavenge these from other electrical components or you can pop down to somewhere like Maplins or Radio Shack and you need two stereo jack points, a project box of some kind to, uh, to fit the amp in, and a 9 volt battery uh, connector. The reason you want a 9 volt is that these run off 9 volts. Um, the converter inside the case actually told me that this was a 230. Uh, down to 9 volt um, transformer uh, and then you've got your project box now the project box I've got four screws so I've got four screws and they're for the lid now what we'll do is we'll pop that to one side and we'll keep that safe and then you've got your 9 volts, sorry, your, your jack points and your 9 volt. Now, any extraneous screws can be put away if you don't need them, but these are generally great. Anyway, once you've got your project box, what you need to do is figure out where in the project box you need. Now, you need to be able to get the circuit board in and at the same time get your 9 volt battery in as well, then have room for your two um, jack points. Now I'm going to mount this sideways and I'm going to try and put it as low as possible so this comes off, I know this comes off and then what I'm going to do is have these on the outside like so and then I'm going to drill in to the box so the circuit board sits on the bottom with some tape um, this is just ordinary double sided um, foam tape and what that'll do, that'll create a, a nice soft cushioning but also kit stick the circuit board down. Right, uh, carrying on, I've drilled the holes out. As you can see, I've got my main switch hole, um, my volume hole, and I've managed to put a little hole in for the little LED. So that should come up nicely. I've decided to hot glue gun the uh, circuit board to the base once I've got it in position. Um, <clears throat> right. What I've done is there were two power wires and I knew which one was which. Um, there was an AC1 and an AC2, one was in, one was out for that's the switch. What I've done is I've removed the original cables and then I've replaced them with the 9 volt battery connector. <clears throat> so, and I, I haven't actually added any solder, all I did was pop the uh, soldering iron on the top and then pulled the wire and as the solder released the wire came out then what I did is I heated up the solder again and just pushed the wire back into place and it's pretty well on so now we should be able to pop this take that off so that goes in like that that'll be on there like that you'd have Quite literally, let's pop the LED into the hole. It's quite literally, there's the LED. So you'll see when it lights up and it's done. And there's plenty of room for the 9 volt battery. But what this gives you an opportunity now is there's your input and you've got there's the 9 volt battery. And then these are all your outputs. Now for the jack, it's a stereo jack. So what we need to do is that on the circuit board, we need to find out where we're going to put this and be able to still put the 9 volt battery in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it, mount it on possibly the sides. So one there and one there. 
So what that'll do is it'll give plenty of room for the um, battery place there. Or I could put them on the end here. But that doesn't leave as much room for the 9 volt battery. Saying that, would be better, actually it might be better, to have a kind of input up here just above and then have an output at the side. Uh, we'll work on that and we'll drill our holes. Right, uh, what I've done <clears throat> is I've drilled a hole in the side on the project box and a hole in the top on the project box and that's purely for these two bits. Now on the circuit board itself what I've done is uh, I've located the uh, ground wires for the um, output and also the wires for the input. Now there were three wires and this was part of them and they were all in one section so what I did is I split them apart and I took out all this wire uh, that's the ground wire that splits between the uh, headphones or um, the input and now what I've got is three wires and if I locate them on top one, one, two, three, what I did is I took out the centre one and then I replaced it with a black wire I took from there which is the um, negative part of the output so now I have three wires for the uh, stereo jack, which is negative, positive, positive. And then I've got three wires for the input, which is negative, positive, positive. Now all I've got to do is wire them up to the jack plug and box them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat all my glue gun and I'm going to glue this in place, then wire it in. Uh, and that should then mean that I use the minimum amount of wires that, I'm, uh, that I need to use. All right, I'm going to glue this in. Right, finally, <clears throat> I've now soldered my two audio jacks in, there's 9 volts, so all I need to do now is get hold of a 9 volt battery, plug it in, hook it up and see what happens, as you can see I've put one on the side, one on the thing, one on that side, and what I've tended to do <clears throat> is I've tended towards mirroring each one, and so red to one side, yellow to uh, white to the other, and then uh, the negative to the middle, and then just hook it in, and that's it. Pop your lid on, put your battery in, pop your lid on, and that's what you got. I'll do a test in a bit as soon as I get a 9 volt battery, and we'll see how it goes. Not bad, awesome, right. I've got a little stereo here and we've got the final box as you can see there just test it press the button light comes on which is a good sign I've got a 9 volt battery in there what we're going to do is put one in the in slot like so and one in the output slot like so and on I've got the volume to minimum and this is a performance by a friend of mine called Anna I'm just going to play it from wherever point I've got it at the moment. So, excuse me. It's currently playing. Now we're going to volume it in. That's low volume, and we'll go up. So it works. We've got volume control. We've got on and off. Well, off and on. It works. That's not too bad, is it? Right, there we go. All done.